Thanks very much, Jill. And um, my great pleasure to just very briefly, and I'm afraid it will be brief, give you a reflection on a number of the remarkable achievements which we have drawn together <coughs> in, our, in our impact report. And just, uh, we've, we've laid this out to reflect the areas that we've wanted to focus on uh, over this last couple of years. And in particular, um, uh, and to begin with, the progress we've made in, in developing new and completely transformative approaches, uh, particularly in, in regard of new therapies. <coughs> and excuse me. You'll see here the progress we've made, uh, particularly in regard of uh, very novel approaches, uh, often referred to as advanced therapies, ways in which we are addressing some really very difficult areas of, of current treatment. Uh, and th these have, we've achieved mainly by working in a commercial environment, recognizing we have to uh, harness significant addi additional investment uh, to get new ideas and new products uh, to be satisfactorily developed for the purposes of treatments. And, and this is just a reflection of some of those uh, very successful spin-out companies that are now uh, underway but have been launched through and with uh, the integration of King's Health Partners. This is transformative because 10 years ago uh, we were not able to offer up uh, such insights. And, and I think over the next number of years we'll see a number of these products coming directly into the clinic. We've also done this in the context of a number of um, applications and digital applications in particular are beginning to be and are, uh, are also transforming our world in particular in relation to healthcare. We have a very large centre and expertise in what is often referred to as artificial intelligence, the way in which we mine data and understand its utility to help guide us in the, in the decision-making process. And we've made very significant investments in relation to this and driving value for healthcare, creating our KHB London Medical Imaging and AI Centre. In, we've, we've applied this directly to patient care and just uh, in particular note uh, our, our developments in deployment in the deployment engine. This is a way in which we have utilised AI uh, for the management and support of, of uh, uh, stroke care. We have <coughs> and run one of the largest programmes in relation to the uh, outcomes from severe COVID, as you were hearing from Lord Kekar. So these are applications now being brought directly into the clinic. In relation to the broader health system and our system-wide quality improvement, which is a major objective for King's Health Partners, you'll see we have continued to make significant progress. A lot of this is focused around our work with the integrated care system and thinking about our opportunities at a population level. And I particularly highlight the work we have done uh, in introducing and ensuring that the vital five areas of healthcare that we believe we can introduce and ensure are locked into the ways in which we think about healthcare delivery and, and major targets for improvement in health at population uh, scale. I just also wanted to highlight work we developed during the pandemic, Lifelines, uh, recognising that there were major challenges and obstacles for, uh, 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 for patients to be supported as they were going through severe, uh, uh, the management of their severe illness. And we've now extended Lifelines to recognising that individuals who need intensive care also can benefit and do benefit from support, not only uh, uh, in the period as they come out of the intensive care unit. So then, this focus on the population, it's a major challenge, but we all recognise that we're going to have any impact on the ways in which we presently deliver healthcare. We have to move much closer to understanding the earlier ways, the earlier components of the healthcare process and the ways in which, of course, healthcare presents itself and ill health presents itself at population uh, uh, at the population level. We had a very successful conference back in the summer of this year uh, where we brought together thought leaders from across not only the integrated care system but also working with colleagues out of our local boroughs thinking about the ways in which we can uh, develop our interventions at scale. And through that, again, recognising one of the major opportunities um, and you'll hear more of this as we go through the day and it certainly will be a major reflection uh, as we think about the next objectives for KHP. The importance of healthcare data. 
And I'm really delighted in the ways in which we have now developed our integrated, our integrated King's Health Partners uh, uh, working with our integrated care system to develop our health data science blueprint. And I think this is a, a way in which we will see very significant transformation being taken through at a population level, but bringing and building upon expertise that sits within King's Health Partners. It is very clear that for all of this, we need to ensure we are supporting our workforces. They can uh, utilize perhaps particularly the advantages of these very large healthcare data sets, the way in which we can much more readily use digital uh, uh, opportunities to transform the delivery of healthcare. And we've placed a very significant emphasis on this, uh, not only in training our workforce, but supporting them in innovations and the ways in which these applications can uh, be developed. One of the ways, of course, we recognize the uh, integration of our clinical and academic and innovation ambition is through recognizing our, our, our community uh, in the university setting by uh, academic promotions, uh, recognition as part of our community as honorary lecturers. Uh, we have our gradations through all the way through to uh, full uh, professorial recognition. These are not just as you were, uh, ways in which people might feel good about the work they're doing. This is a real way in which we can demonstrate that we're working in partnership and recognizing the commitment, whether it be in research, education, innovation, or that broader uh, uh, commitment to the way in which we develop our broader uh, uh, our workforce. Uh, we have now uh, recognized not in, uh, over 370 individuals through this sort of pathway. Innovation and this workforce development uh, is, is absolutely the core of what King's Health Partners is seeking to draw through. And we have made very significant interventions, including changes in the way we develop the curriculum, applying this across the totality of the workforce, not only those in frontline healthcare delivery, but those supporting many elements of that. It has required us to think very carefully about the whole process of how we will re-engineer the whole system. This is a major challenge. We're going to make inroads. We will need to increase our ability to do such engineering. One of our real achievements, of course, is our mind and body program, thinking about the integration of care, mindful of the things that uh, 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 occupy us as you go into a process of physical ill health, how we ensure that your uh, mental well-being is supported and vice versa. Our clinical academic partnerships are at the core of the way in which we bring our, our activities together, a one-team approach. And I want to highlight in particular here the work we're doing on lung health. This is a major initiative as we recognise the concerns we all have about air pollution in particular, but of course the broader concerns for long-term ill health through uh, lung disease. I want to finish, if I may, just by reflecting, as Lord Kekar did, on where this, take, this takes us. We will increase our efforts in focusing on how we individualise and personalise care. We'll do that by ensuring that we can bring our innovations through with partnership with commercial uh, entities. All of this looking to the ways in which we can uh, reduce the burden of disease by much earlier interventions, and at the core of that, health data science will be a major driver. We know we will need to continue to develop our, our, our workforce, and that, of course, lies at the heart of what King's Health Partners is here to do. So with that, uh, I will now um, uh, thank you for, for uh, your attention, uh, and we'll move into a broader discussion. And I'm going to um, uh, uh, in invite, uh, as we start a panel discussion, a brief uh, video as we talk about transforming human health through the life sciences. And with this, I'd like to introduce uh, Professor Anthony Rosen, who is the um, Vice Principal at, King, uh, at uh, uh, John Hopkins University in uh, Baltimore, uh, who's going to speak to us uh, on this topic.